This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing Haemophilus influenzae, or H flu, which you can see right here. This scene will take place inside of an office, as you can see by the desks and the prominent sign that says the office. Office sounds like Haemophilus, so it will be our symbol for Haemophilus influenzae. Notice that we've made this office look extra hideous with the very prominent pink walls. This is to remind you that H flu is a gram negative organism. This is a gram stain of H flu. Notice that the organism is red or pink appearing, and in some areas, it appears circular or caucus shaped, and in other areas, it looks a bit more rod or bacilli shaped. This is why H flu is considered a gram negative coccobacillus. Okay, let's return to the image and introduce a couple characters. Notice that we've shown a girl behind the desk near the top of the image. Her name is Pamelin, and she's the receptionist in this office space. The guy towards the front of the image is named James, and he secretly has a crush on Pamelin. If you look closely on Pamelin's desk, you can see that we've shown several things which are kind of hard to see, so let's zoom up. First, notice that we've shown her cutting some paper with a pair of scissors. Just like in some of our other videos, the scissors are here to help you remember that one of the virulence factors of H-flu is an IgA protease. Also notice that we've shown a jar of chocolate, which is here to help you remember that H-flu grows on chocolate agar. We covered this in more detail in section 20, which is our Neisseria overview video, but recall that this is an image of chocolate agar. As you can see, it has a distinct brown appearance and looks kind of like chocolate. Chocolate agar is simply heated blood agar, which contains lysed red blood cells. The red blood cells are an important part of the agar because compounds called factor 5 and factor 10 are normally inside of the red blood cells. Therefore, these compounds are only available to the organisms when the medium is heated and the red blood cells are lysed. So remember, H flu can grow on chocolate agar because red blood cells are lysed, which supply the agar with factor 5 and factor 10. Alternatively, H flu can be grown on traditional blood agar next to hemolytic organisms such as Staph aureus because these organisms lyse the red blood cells which provides factors 5 and 10. This is an image of Staph aureus growing on blood agar. The large yellow appearing blobs, for example right here and right here, are colonies of Staph aureus. If you look closely, you can also see little satellite colonies surrounding Staph aureus right here. And these colonies are Haemophilus influenzae. So again, H flu can be grown on blood agar next to hemolyzing organisms because the hemolyzing organisms lyse the red blood cells, which can then supply H flu with factors 5 and 10. Okay, now let's return to the image to help you memorize these details. First, notice that we've shown a staff leaning up against the wall behind Pamelin. This is a reference to our Staph aureus video and is to help you remember that H flu can be grown near Staph aureus on blood agar. 